You are very welcome out to day nine of this bedtime yin yoga challenge where we're meeting here every day for 30 days to unwind, relax and stretch with some yin yoga. This routine will focus on the shoulders so we will be practicing cow face arms towards the end of this routine. You might have a strap or a belt or something ready for that. And then you also might need a yoga block for this routine. Don't worry too much if you don't have those items with you. You can still do this routine, no problem. We'll start with Anahatasana. We're going to hold for four minutes. So if you have sensitive knees, you can place a blanket in underneath or you can fold your yoga mat to create a little bit more padding. When you're ready, you can come to all fours. Stretch your hands out towards the front of your mat. Keep your hips as much over your knees as you can and then melt your chest down to the ground. Starting to feel that opening through your upper back, maybe within the front of your shoulders, around your upper arms. If this pose becomes too intense, you can take a bend into your elbows and just bring your hands back closer to you. If you're feeling very flexible and you want to go a little bit deeper, you can have your chin on the mat or you can have your arms resting on yoga blocks. We'll stay here for a few more breaths. If your body is still feeling okay with that, just stay with the sensations that you're feeling. Keep that awareness of your breath. But if you do feel as though you need to come out of the pose sooner, at any point throughout this practice, remember that that is okay. It's really important to listen to your body and respect its wishes.
When you're ready, you can slowly slide back into child's pose. Bringing your knees as close together as is comfortable for you. Resting your hands next to your feet with the palms facing up. And just simmer in the effects of Anahatasana for the next minute. From here, you can push yourself back up into a seat on the mat. And just take a moment here for everything to flow back down. If you haven't already done so today, relax your jaw and soften your face. Take a breath in and take a breath out. The next pose that we'll practice is bow tie or pretzel arms. So you'll be lying down on the front of your body. Then you're going to bring your right arm over to the left and your left arm over to the right. From there, you might be able to hook your chin onto your top arm and you can either just rest your head down or you might rest your forehead onto a yoga block. So let's get into the pose together. You can come on down onto your belly. Legs are just doing whatever they want to do. You can have a yoga block ready nearby in case you do want to rest your forehead on it. Then right arm comes over to the left, left arm comes over to the right. Walk your hands as far away from each other as you can get them. And then you can drop your head down, either hooking your chin to your left arm or resting your forehead on the block. We'll be here for four minutes.
As you're ready to do so, you can slowly bring your arms back. We'll rest in crocodile pose by bringing the hands together, resting your forehead or a cheek onto your hands, and then bring your big toes to find each other. Let your heels drop to the edges of your mat. We'll stay here for one minute, feeling that fizzle of bow tie within your shoulders. The next pose that we'll practice is broken wing. So you can extend your right arm out to the right, having it somewhat perpendicular to your body, but as always, just do whatever feels right for you. Then the left hand can come over towards the left side of the mat. You're very mindfully going to roll over onto your right hip. Your left foot might come back behind you to find the floor and then rest your head back down onto the mat. We'll stay here for three minutes. And you can experiment a little bit by leaning a little bit more weight into your right shoulder to go deeper or maybe taking some of that weight off and sending it into your left hand instead if you want to keep the pose less intense.
it's time to roll back to the center of your mat. Slowly making your way to crocodile pose. Resting here for one minute. Now we'll repeat bow tie on the opposite side. So first your left arm comes over to the right and then your right arm goes over to the left. Walk your hands as far away from each other as you can and then hook your chin to your right arm or rest your forehead onto your block. And just letting gravity work your shoulders from this side. And all you have to do is focus on your breath and feel all of the sensations that you feel.
It's time to slowly come back to find crocodile pose. Big toes back together and the entire body just flopping into the floor. Now we'll make our way into broken wing on the opposite side. So the left arm extends out to the left. Start to roll to that left hip and maybe your right foot comes back behind you. Head is resting on the mat. And we'll stay here for three minutes. When you're ready, you can slide back into crocodile pose.
resting here for one minute, really allowing your yoga mat to take away any tension from your shoulders or from your body in general. You can make your way up to sit on your yoga mat now. Maybe sitting in a cross-legged position if that feels okay for you. And remember you can always sit on a cushion or a yoga block here for some more support. So first we'll just take a breath or two to settle into our new position. And now we'll release the shoulders one final time with cow face arms. So if you have a strap, you can place it over one of your shoulders now. Then reach your left arm out in front of you and push it away. Bring it all the way back behind you and turn your thumb down. Then come to hold your strap along your spine as high as you can sustainably have that arm. Then your right arm reaches up, bend your elbow and come to hold your strap on your spine. You might walk your hands a little bit closer to each other and if you're not using a strap just try to reach your hands towards each other. Your top elbow is pointing up, spine is nice and long. We'll stay here for two minutes. Cow face arms is a really nice pose to help to straighten your spine. It can be very beneficial for your posture. You're also helping to open up your chest and your shoulders. So take advantage of that by allowing your lungs to really expand with each breath in. And with each breath out, you're carrying tension away from your body.
Now you can release your grip from your strap. Slowly bring the hands back to the front. Staying in this cross-legged position, you might just walk your hands slightly away from you. Allow the palms to face up. Drop your head and breathe here for a breath or two. Releasing your jaw, relaxing your face, softening your shoulders. With your next exhale, you can push the floor away from you. Swap your feet so now you're up, the opposite foot is in front. And we'll repeat cow face on the other side. So now your right arm reaches out. Push it away, bring it back and turn your thumb down. Bend your elbow and find your strap. Left arm reaches up, bend the elbow, walk the hands closer together. Keep your top elbow pointed up, spine is nice and long. And we'll stay here for two minutes. You can release your grip from your strap. Once again, bringing both arms out in front. Walk your hands away from you. Turn the palms up and drop into this fold. Inhale to come back up. Do whatever you need to do to release your shoulders, maybe circling them, or you might release your neck by dropping your head very gently from side to side. Taking some time to look up and down as well.
We'll release the spine by bringing the right hand over to the left knee. The left hand can come back behind you. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to rotate towards the left. Come back to center now and rotate to the opposite side. you can make your way back to center. If you enjoyed this routine, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave this video a thumbs up. If you're subscribed already, thank you so much for being here. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing that. It really does support me in making these videos. If you have 10 more minutes to stay on your mat, definitely click into this video take those 10 minutes to relax and to let your body absorb all of the poses that you've been doing in this routine. I'll see you again tomorrow for day 10, but until then, take good care of yourself. Good night and goodbye.